The BOP Arduino is an Arduino compatible microcontroller made specifically for the Lynx Motion robots. It has the same footprint and can be used in conjunction with the SSC32 servo controller. It also retains the normal Arduino shield connections as well. Simply plug a USB mini cable from this plug to a free USB port on your PC for programming the processor and receiving debug information. For help with USB drivers, go to the official Arduino page. This is a power good LED. When you have successfully applied power to the onboard regulator, the yellow LED will turn on. This shorting bar enables the onboard speaker. To use the speaker, send the appropriate sound generating command to pin number 5. The three LEDs and push buttons use only three input output lines to make a simple user interface for your program. The shorting bars directly above JA, JB, and JC will need to be installed for these LEDs and push buttons to be used. This is where you connect your servos, motor controllers, and sensors, etc. to the microcontroller. Use caution when connecting anything to the I.O. bus. Never connect anything while the power is on. The outside row is ground, the middle row is power, and the inside row are the I.O. pins. For example, on the typical servo, the outside row would be have the black wire, the middle row is the red wire, and the inside row would be the yellow or the white wire, depending on your servo. This is where you configure the I.O. bus center row to use VL which is 5 volts plus DC from the onboard regulator, or VS, which is the servo power input. This is done in banks of four I.O. pins. This port is for connecting a Sony PlayStation controller to use as a robot controller. The Lynx Motion, Sony, and MadCats controllers only require a 1K pull-up on pin 6. This is built into the board and must be enabled by installing a jumper on the JPU. This pin group breaks out the ICSP pins. These allow you to burn a bootloader onto the Atmega328 or program the chip with an external programmer. Do not connect anything to these pins unless you know what you're doing. This connector brings out pins 0 and 1 of the Arduino along with ground in such a way that you can connect the BOP Arduino to an SSC32 with any servo extension cable. These jumpers allow the VL and or VS inputs to be connected to two of the Atmega328's analog inputs through a 4 to 1 voltage divider. For example, if the battery voltage were 9 volts DC, the analog input would see 2.25 volts. These headers bring out analog pins A4 and A5 for use with the I2C communication protocol. This allows you to power the servo and logic from the same battery. It simply connects the VS input to the VL input. When you do this, just don't connect anything to the VL input. This button will reset the microprocessor when pressed. This can be useful for starting different programs. This is the VS input. VS stands for servo voltage. Servo voltage can be between 4.8 volts and 7.2 volts DC. However, some smaller servos will not tolerate more than 6 volts. This is the VL input. VL stands for logic voltage. This input is normally used with a 9 volt DC battery connector to provide power to just the microcontroller and anything else connected to the 5 volt DC lines on the board. This header selects the logic power source for the board. Select USB to power the logic from the onboard USB port or select EXT to power the board from the VL terminal. The low dropout regulator will provide 5 volts DC out with as little as 5.4 volts DC coming in. This is important when operating your robot from a battery. These headers are spaced to accept all Arduino compatible shields and extensions. These are the status LEDs. L is directly connected to pin 13 on the Arduino chip, and TX blinks when it's sending data, and RX blinks when it's receiving data.